Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, the living God. Welcome to Jesus God Incarnate Ministries, where I speak all things Jesus to the best of my ability. So these things always change. So um, if you want to come along and hear what's up, uh, like, subscribe, share, because it's not my, it might not be you that needs it. It might be somebody else. So um, yeah, come on along. This is going to be kind of another video, like another simple one, but it's it's, it's like a different video again. Um, and, and I want to hear you guys' thoughts, too, like, on the videos. I'm going to start saying this as well. Like, I encourage you guys to comment um, if you guys want to hear more about something or, like, a specific topic at any given time. You know, like, if I'm if I'm going on a rant about whatever it is and you hear something like, yo, I don't really get that part. Can you explain this more? I'll make a whole separate video for you guys because I'm here for you guys. So, um, so, yeah, so this one, we're going to be looking at actually – like amazing grace and the history behind it and the guy that actually wrote it and like his story a little bit right um it actually dates back to the to times of slavery so john newton he, he was this dude so and by the way just so you guys know um i have a degree in africana studies which is uh african and african-american history so i know a little bit about this not just because like I did like a couple of Wikipedia researches, but I actually studied it for two years um, and I, you know, have the degree and stuff. So I'm speaking a little bit from expertise and a little bit just from um, like personal like research and study and growth and stuff upon the word of God. So we're going to be looking at the like the lyrics and the breakdown in conjunction with his uh, with his story. Right. So because it, it makes a lot more sense when you when you hear the dude's story and then you then you then you listen to the song or you or you like read the lyrics again. You're just like, wow, it smacks you pretty hard. So um, so back then. Right. Uh, when 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 the, the Atlantic uh, uh, trade trade slave uh, slave trading was going on. And it was like popular um, on average the 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 boats like full of the slaves would would be about one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars right which i think equivalent to today's money i checked it like last year or something it's probably a little bit different now but it's around 10 million dollars right in today's money so basically for about four to six months right because you'd go from like England, right? The triangle, you'd go from England, right? Then, and then you'd grab your goods and then you would come down to like the Ghana and like the, 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 the coast, the Western coast of, of, uh, Africa, right? Of the continent of Africa. And then you would grab, then you would basically exchange that and then get, get slaves in exchange for goods. Or, well, you would sell the goods, right? You would sell the goods. You'd buy like the, the slaves. And then you would go to the Americas, right? Which whether it's South or North America, cause they're both slaves. Slaves um, dropped off. There was like four million plus slaves dropped off in, com in combination of both of them, right? Um, and many of the slaves died on the way just because of like they would like sardine them, but they they just wouldn't like give them livable, uh, livable like situate like livable conditions basically, right? Like they would they, you crap and you pee right there. Right. So like a lot of infection and, and just like uh, malnutrition, they wouldn't feed them for some reason. Right. So um, so a lot of these things were going on. Right. So so a lot of the slaves would die by the time you got there. So that's why they overpacked it. So then they could get there with like at least 40 percent. Right. Of the slaves that they got. Um, so then that would be like a hundred, like seventy five thousand. And then you just do the same thing. Boop, boop, boop. So there's this man called John Newton, right? He was born 19, uh, he was born 1725 on August 4th. This man grew up, you know, in, in the UK and whatnot. And when he got to a certain age, that's when he started his, his trip. And from what I remember, if I remember correctly, I think he made three or four trips. And then he, he almost got into a crash. And then he got like... And then he got like sick too in one of them. And then he didn't he did he didn't want to go back. He was like, all right, I'm done. Right? He almost died and all this other stuff. And he's like, God help us, right? So so then when God saved him, right, he he turned his ways. Because cause he went from selling slaves, right, to like boom, boom, boom. This man was like basically like a millionaire, like a multi-millionaire in like if you if you convert it, right? He was like wealthy. Well, he wasn't he was rich, rich, right? Basically. 
Like, like let, let's say you started like a business or something and like the, and everyone that starts this business will get like $10 million per year. And it only takes like four months to start. And it's very easy. It's very upfront. And it's just like a simple boom, 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 boom. And then every single year you're going to get 4 million every single year you're going to earn 10 million. Right. So like that's, that's how hot it was back then. So this man did that. He almost died. He called out to God and then got saved because he was, he was getting, he was, from what I remember, he got sick before he was going to go again, if, if I remember correctly, right? But then he also got into a shipwreck where like a storm almost killed them all, right? So he called out to God and then God saved him. And then like, I think he was going to go again and make another trip, but then he got sick. And then it's like, and then it was just like God's plan, right? So after these events happened, basically God saved him and he turned his life to Christ, and then, and then he became an abolitionist, which is someone that fights against slavery, right? For someone that that uh, that is that's an advocate for ending slavery. So this man dedicated his life. He went from selling slaves to now saving slaves and trying to end slavery, right? As like like by law and all that other stuff, right? Because when you're white and you have power back then, whoo, it's crazy. And you got money, whoo, right? So, um, so he, he had a lot of influence and he would team up with a lot of people in the church and whatnot. So he be, he eventually became, um, like a bishop or something or like a, uh, like a priest or something like that. Um, but now to actually look at the lyrics of like the, the amazing grace, because this is legitimately like, like imagine his life, right? And then. And, and like him writing this, right? Like him talking to God, like as, as he's writing, like these are like from the depths of his heart, right? Like the, these lyrics, are, they're not just like, oh, God save me, oh, amazing grace, how sweet. No, 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 no. I'm talking like this man, because he started walking with God, he started understanding what he was doing, right? He started understanding what he was doing with this whole like slavery stuff. And how God spared his life. Remember, he almost died. God spared his life because he called out to God, right? He almost died on that shipwreck. Like, it was a crazy storm, and he almost died. Then he called out to God, and God saved his life. He said, yeah, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm just going to read the lyrics. And, like, if you want, you can go listen to it again. But, like, so, like sometimes I don't want to listen to the song because, like, it's just too, it just... Cause I, I, it, it's too deep, you know, sometimes it's just like, ah, I'm going to start crying, you know, like, um, so amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind, but now I see Twas the grace that taught my heart to fear and grace. My fears relieved how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. So remember his story. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have come. This grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace would lead me home. When we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm, fine, but now I'm found was blind but now i see so when when you when you really really break down this dude's life in comparison to what he's saying right like he calls himself a wretch because he understands what he was doing and he understands his sin nature and how he was acting upon that sin nature by selling slaves and, and getting rich and being selfish and, and doing this and doing that, right? Treating other humans that God created in the image of God terribly, okay? So, so that's, that's the part where it just, it, like, even just reading it just, just gets my heart. You know, I'm just like, yo, like, this quite literally reflects my life. When I think about, I was walking in darkness. I was... I was liking the things of Satan. I wasn't liking. I was loving. I was indulging in the things of Satan. And I don't mean like going out and sinning. I mean, my very nature craves the things of Satan and hates the things of God. Like that. that's what I mean. 
right? Like when, when, when I know, when I know that I was walking in darkness and I understand now, I'm just like, okay, if I was walking in darkness, that means I was not walking in light. And if I wasn't walking in light, then I hate the light. And if I hate the light, that means I love my evil deeds, just as Jesus said. And if I and if I if if I if I love my deeds and I hate the light because I'm walking in darkness, he said this this is the kind of I think it was John three like seventeen or something. It said like this is condemnation that light has come into the world, but men love their evil deeds rather than. Uh, rather than the light, be, lest their deeds be uh, exposed. So you're just like, then what hope do we have, <laughs> right? Because this man was like, he was rich, right? In, in his time, he was rich. So it, it wasn't about money at this point. His life was on the line and he called out to the living God and then God saved him, right? So like, it was that grace, Right. That that taught his heart to fear, because it's like if God didn't have grace on him, no one in this planet would have heard about him. We wouldn't be singing a song to this day like a few hundred years later. We wouldn't. Right. Because because this man literally. Like called out to God, he gets saved, then he lives, then he dedicates his life to God and then he becomes like a preacher of God and stuff like that. And then he says. Through many dangers, toils, and snares I have come. I have already come. The grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. So, like, like the amount of times this dude says grace in the song, I need y'all to, like, pay attention to that. I'm going to count it one time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, this dude says it in almost every single, like, little verse thing, right? He says grace seven times. I might be miscounting. But anyways, he says it at least seven times, right? So, like, th this this is, it's, it's one of those things where it's just, like, it's, it warms my heart to know, like, that this man didn't write the song because he was, like, just motivated by, like, God, like, oh... Like, I, I think God wants me to write the song. No, this man literally is pouring his life into the song. Like, you can hear his entire heart, his struggles, and, and, and the good parts too, right? So it's like, you, you can really hear his fear of God in it. So, like, that's the video. If you guys have any thoughts, anything you want to share, um, if you want me to break down another video, uh, song or whatever, or if... Um, or if you want me to talk about a part that you that you, that you didn't quite catch, go ahead and comment. Um, like, subscribe, share if, if these videos are blessing you. Uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.